it's so great to see you back because after Thank your you. a couple of months ago, I think a lot of wrestling fans were more worried about your health than your performance. But to see you back, it, selfishly, it's uh, it's really great to see. You. Well, thank you. It's you know, sometimes when you're on the sideline, you can, you know, it can run through your head that the, the world's passing you by. But you know, for me, with, with the outpour of support and all the love and the blessings that were sent my way, uh, it, it really put me at ease to know that you know this place is still going to be here, and to focus, take the time to focus on yourself, uh, take care of your family, um, focus on your health, and whenever the time's right, this place will still be here for me. And and they did exactly that. You know, I, I was very, uh, you know, extremely happy and proud of the way the the company and, and our talent and our locker room handled. It's not easy when you know someone who's been invested in uh, is not able to make it. You know, when, when the, the investment's there and then the appearance isn't. It can be, you know, it can be critical. It can, it can really damage the whole product. But the way everybody stepped up, the way the company, you know, the office, the talent, especially the talent, the way they stepped up and made it work without me, I'm very proud of that. On your darkest day, were you ever worried that I mean, maybe you wouldn't get back to where you're going to be this summer? You know, I think. On my darkest day, I wasn't just worried about this Sunday, I was just worried about, in general, if I was gonna be able to continue my career, if I was gonna be able to still be a part of this company, be a part of the locker room, uh, continue my relationships, because don't get me wrong, uh, we're all very good friends and we all have a huge working uh, respect for each other. But the facts are, when some guys leave, some girls leave, we don't really get to talk to them. We don't hear from them as much. And the last thing I would want to do is lose all the relationships that I've built over these years. So it was, uh, it was really, it was really a uh, you know awesome moment for me to know that I'm going to be back and I'm going to be able to be back with my friends and do what I love with the people I love. And just a final one for me. I mean, last year you were in the big draw. You were the main event. This year it's going to be Becky Lynch, Dublin Zone. We're very proud of her in Ireland. It's going to be Charlotte. And Ronda Rousey. How special is this event, not just because it's WrestleMania, but for the business as a whole and the way female athletes are perceived in sport? I think this is so much bigger than just WWE and our business. This is transcending. This is connecting with people and women all over the world, and I think it's important. And that's why I urge our women, you know, especially our young women, to watch this because you're going to see three dynamic, strong, proud women that represent, you know, their gender at the highest level. Uh, and to be able to see them go at it and do what's never been done to trailblaze, it's incredible. And, and you know, as a father with an 11-year-old daughter, I, I hope, you know, I'm showered up and you know, I always want to be last. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, it is what it is, but if anyone's going to take the spot, it's going to be those strong women. And hopefully I'll be able to sit with my daughter and my wife and my mother and watch these incredible women you know, break down barriers that have never been done before. So, super proud of them. Uh, if there's anything I can tell you girls, you women, just go out there, have fun. You've been killing it. You know what to do. You guys are the best. Go out there and be it. Roman, for you, former consecutive main event of WrestleMania, now Drew McIntyre. Which kind of challenge is this for you? It's a fun challenge for me. You know, I, I've... I've shared the ring at WrestleMania with a lot of veterans, guys who've been either at the back half of their career or very established. And for me, to see a guy like Drew, a guy with a second chance, I'm also a guy who feels like he has a second chance. So there's going to be a close relation there and a bond because we are new generation guys. We, we represent this generation. We're full. We're all we're on board fully, you know, all in. Uh, with pushing, you know, our age group, our our demographic, and and what we're doing within the product now in 2019. You know, we, we celebrate our history, but we're all about the future, and I think you're going to be able to see that within our match. And at the end of the day, it's going to be two big dudes hitting each other as hard as they can. So who doesn't like that? You speak about uh, new generation, about old generation. Is the night of uh, Kurt Angle retirement? We can be the night of Triple H retirement. What do you think about uh, this kind of generation? Well, you, like I said, you have to you have to be able to you know know your history and respect it as well because that's where we came from. And I think it's a it's a great uh, you know it's a great lesson for all of us to learn because we're all going to be towards the end. We're all going to you know hopefully we'll we'll be good enough and, and have long enough careers to have those type of matches with the stipulation of a retirement. Uh, but to be able to work to that to that level to have that type of respect where people actually care if you're going to be here or not, um, I think we can all learn from that. And it, it, it comes from a lot of hard work. If you look at the guys who are in that match, Triple H and Batista, they they both have their own body of work, but they put in a lot of time in their craft and their performance and, and building themselves as superstars. 
And, you know, with Triple H, you know, it being that he's going to retire, nobody other than Vince is as hands-on in this company and in this industry as Triple H, you know. He and Vince, they obviously have a very special relationship and a bond over, over sports entertainment, but uh, it, it really goes to show the amount of passion and love that they have for our business. Two more questions, of course. Speaking of the pressure of headlining four WrestleManias in the world, is it on some level just a little bit more relaxing for you being able to be in the kind of environment of the card and just take it all in after everything you've gone through over the last couple of months? Brother, I'm cooler than a cucumber right now, man. I, there's not a sweat, an ounce of sweat under this suit. Um, it is. It's stressful being the main event. I was the main event four years in a row. It got easier as, as the years went on. But there is something about the energy I'm feeling and, and the pressure. I don't have any pressure on me. Uh, we have, and, and I think this goes back to one of the questions I answered earlier. I think that goes with the talent stepping up and, and our young talent and this new generation stepping up and making big names and you know where better start than, than the women Becky you know Charlotte Rhonda for that fact even though she had a name before what we do they've all stepped up and, and that helps us out you know there's not as much stress on the individual and it's really allowed me just to enjoy this week to take time and do you know events like this and just give back and uh, enjoy my time with my family and also be in the moment and just you know, look back and just, man, it's WrestleMania, you know, it's time to have fun. Roman, what do you think about the Drew McIntyre, the rival in WrestleMania, and about that match? Uh, you know, I have a great respect for him. The fact is, though, you know what I mean? I, I, I was out for five months. Yeah. The guy had plenty of time to uh, take advantage, and he didn't. And as soon as I come back, I'm the guy that he wants to pick some beef with. So I think it was a, a dumb mistake on his behalf. And, you know, I think he's he's trying to use me as a stepping stone, but I think it's going to be the exact opposite. We're going to show the whole world that I'm still the big dog. I still run this yard. I'm still the very best. And when it comes down to it, when I'm done with Drew, show the world why I belong in that universal title picture. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Come on, guys.